Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about the B-Weekly contest. Um, question number four, string transform into another string. So we are given two strings, string one and string two. And we be we being asked to determine whether string one can be transformed into string two with um, zero or more number of conversion. So the number of conversion basically is unlimited. So um, yeah, if you can convert it, return true and otherwise you return a false so that's the question so as you can see from the first example um, we can replace this a to c which will not work right because if we re replace this a to this c and then when we want to replace c to e um, the c will be replaced also to e so the sequence does matter when you um, actually do the the conversion but the problem is we don't actually do the conversion but we just determine whether it's possible to do a conversion or not but if we really want to do it we need to do it from c we convert it to e b we convert it to d and a we convert it to c so yeah the, the sequence do matter but we don't actually do a conversion there so yeah and on the second example um it's not possible to do a con conversion why um as we try on the first conversion, if we replace the A to C and we have C pointing to E and then C pointing to C, it's not possible anymore because the C have two target to be followed, right? So why second example is not possible because this example have E, E and E here, right? So E is mapped to O, E is mapped to D and then E is mapped to T. So in that case, it's not possible anymore like to transform string A into string B, right? So, yeah, the, the simplest test case there is just, um, we have a map, right? We have a map of character to some other character. So, yeah, um, if we if we found, um, let's say E already mapped to some character that is not that character, so how, how to explain this? So, um, if E already mapped to O, and next time we, we met E is mapped to O again, is okay, right? Because E to O, E to O. But if we met E to O and then E to D, then it means it's not okay. We return false immediately in that case. So that's why here we are checking uh, M dot get for, uh, the, the character from first string and the character, um, the, the first string, what it mapped to. So we will found in the map that E mapped to O, right? And then next time, E map to D, so we will we will take the E we will take the O and we compare with, with the second string which is D, so it's not the same, right? And then it return a false in that case, and yeah. Otherwise, we will put the string one and string two as a map, so E to O, L to C for the first time, and yeah. And then here we have the uh, S two character so another corner case here to handle is if we already use all a to z let's say the first string have all a to z right and the second string also have all a to z right um, and it's mapped differently so that's why here if string 2 is not equal to string 1 that means conversion is needed right but um, first string already all use all of the character and string B is already used all of its character, right? It means there are no possible character for us to do a temporary swap. Like some, we, we, we move it to some character and then move it back, even though every character is mapped one to one, right? But we don't have any ca more character for temporarily do the swapping. So in that case, we also return a false and otherwise we can return a true, right? Yeah, so that's it for this question. Um, Thank you for watching and see you on the next weekly contest. Thank you.